This video will show you how to paint a concrete floor. This is a basement utility room, furnace room, uh, and concrete floor. So we're going to paint it with a, a gray interior exterior floor paint, which you can get at any paint store. I'm using this one, but uh, there might be better ones out there, but we're going to use this one. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is make sure the floor is really clean. Any grease, uh, you'll need to use a degreaser and clean it up. This house was dry, the basement was drywalled recently, so you can see there's some spilled uh, drywall mud here. So you just want to get rid of it with a scraper or even a, a wire brush just to get rid of as much of that stuff as you can. And then I went through and vacuumed it with the shop back really well, so it's, it's pretty clean and ready to go. Okay, the next step is to trim around the edges of the room. So I've started here, and what I like to do is, first of all, I usually use cheap, shitty paint brushes for this job because this is an oil-based paint, so I can't be bothered cleaning a paintbrush with thinner. It's just a mess. So for a job like this, you can just use a cheap dollar store paintbrush, and uh, when you're done, throw it out and get another one next time. Anyway, that's what I do. And also what I like to do with this is just kind of get in there, get in under the drywall. Just as a first pass. And then come out a little bit wider. Just so when we roll the big open area, we've got a nice kind of three or four inches away from the wall so that, uh, that there's lots of room to get the roller in there and not uh, be rubbing it up, up against the wall. So get in tight in the first pass and then come back and just widen it out. Okay, all the trim work is done. So we've trimmed around the hole outside of the room, all around the tight spaces where we won't be able to get a roller in, around the drain. So the can says to let this stuff dry for at least 16 hours, so we'll let it dry till tomorrow or the next day, and then come back with the roller and finish it off for the first coat, and uh, we'll see how the first coat looks. might end up doing two coats. But the trim's done, now we can throw the dollar store brush away. The next step is to roll paint on in the open areas. So just like painting anything else, you want to load up your roller. And then just paint up to the trim that you did before, a few inches out of the wall. So it's nice and easy if you've trimmed it out a few inches. You can just roll it on. Start in the back far corners. In this case, I started behind the furnace there and the water heater and came all the way around and I'm working my way out. Paint the big open areas next and paint ourselves out to the door. And that's it. All done. Painted. Looks great. So that's how you can paint your concrete floor. Keep the dust down, make it a little easier to sweep, and just give it a bit more of a finished look. Thanks for watching.